Hello everyone, welcome back to the Syntax UK YouTube channel. My name is Matt and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect the Verifish Pulsate AE to your audio interface. The Verifish Pulsate AE is a versatile ADDA converter, ideal for expanding your audio interface or mixer with additional channels of analog I.O. And it's the ideal addition to smaller studios and live sound rigs, as well as for use in a lightweight mobile recording rig. For this tutorial, I'm gonna show you just how quick and simple it is to connect the Pulsate AE to your audio interface. First things first, let's get the Pulsate AE out of the box. The Ferrofish Pulsate is the ideal expansion for any interface that features ADAT connections, not just the RME interfaces that we supply here at Synthax. Connect one Toslink cable from the output of your interface to the input of the Pulsate. Then go from the output of the Pulsate into the input of your interface. I've got both devices connected now. I've got a synthesizer running into the Pulse 8 AE so we can test it out. And all that's left to do now is to set the clock. And this makes sure that both devices remain in sync with one another. So for this, I'm gonna set the Babyface Pro as the master clock. And to do that, I need to open the Fireface USB settings and just check that the clock mode is set to internal. Now down here in the input status, you can see that it's changing between lock and sync here. And that shows that there is a problem with that clocking connection at the moment. So now I'm gonna to go to the front panel of the Pulse 8. I'm gonna choose the clock. And I'm just going to change it to ADAP. And now these two devices are synced together. And you can see again in the input status that the ADAT input status is now stuck on sync and that shows the two devices are synchronized. So now that I've got both devices synchronized, I can start sending and receiving audio from the Pulse 8. So I'm gonna open Total Mix here. And you can see my microphone channel here on the first input. But all of the audio coming from the Pulse 8 into our interface will appear in these top row channels here. So that's AS1 and 2, ADAT 3 and 4, ADAT 5 and 6 and ADAT 7 and 8. On the flip side, all of the audio that's being sent from our audio interface to the Pulse 8 will be visible on this bottom row here. So that could be things like studio monitors or outboard gear effects, things like that. So I'm going to just press play on the sequence on this synthesizer and immediately we can see here in hardware input AS1 and 2 we've got a signal coming through. Now these are stereo channels by default, so I can just split those here and then center them. And we can see that is the synthesizer coming in here. Now, in terms of getting audio back out to the Ferrofish, I can just click any of these ADAT channels on the bottom row here. Let's choose ADAT three and four, and then I can just send audio back. And I'm gonna send my microphone channel back out to the Pulse 8. By default, the Pulse 8 is configured in a way so that each individual ADAT channel goes to its corresponding analog output. So for ADAT 3 and 4, that is being sent to analog output 3 and 4. And that's it, it's as simple as that. We can start plugging in more synthesizers, drum machines, and keyboards to record them into our DAW, as well as sending audio back out to the Pulse 8 for things like studio monitors and other outboard gear. If you want to learn more about the Pulse 8 AE or the rest of Ferrofish's line of ADDA converters like the Pulse 16 and A32 Pro, then head to our website synthax.co.uk.